The heightened concerns about Japan's nuclear plants started last year after the Fukushima Daiichi accident. Crews at the damaged facility are still working their way through a long to-do list as they prepare the plant for decommissioning. We've got a status report on today's Nuclear Watch. NHK World's Yoichiro Tateiwa joins us in the studio. Yoichiro, give us a snapshot, if you may, on what's happening at Fukushima Daiichi. Mm -hmm. The, the, the plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, released a video footage last month taking the containment vessel of one of the damaged reactors. The results show the unit is damaged more severely than the others. It seems that the, most of the melted fuel pierced through the wall of the reactor's first line of defense, the pressure vessel. The fuel is considered to be pulled on the bottom of the containment vessel. But TEPCO officials say their surveys show the water level is about 2.8 meters, 2.8 meters, and is keeping the fuel cool and stable. They admit, but groundwater is flowing into the reactor buildings and becoming tainted with radioactive materials. They're trying to collect the water, store it in the tanks, for decontamination. But they don't deny the possibility this polluted water is seeping into the Pacific Ocean. What kind of impact is the radiation having on the sea? Gene, scientists have been carrying out the studies to try to find out. A team led by marine chemist Cam Buseler published the finding last week in the well-respected magazine Science. Buseler analyzed Japanese government data he found that highly contaminated fish continue to be caught off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture. He concluded there may be a constant source of radionuclides in the ocean, either in the form of low-level leaks from the plant or contaminated sediment on the seafloor. I asked TEPCO representative about the Butler's study. They told me they don't have any data to verify this research, that basically means they do not deny his result, but neither will they confirm them. Mm. What needs to happen at Fukushima Daiichi before it is decommissioned? Mm -hmm. The commissioning process is ex expected to take 40 years. Mm. Before it can begin in earnest, TEPCO engineers need to bring the radiation levels down. They say they have detected extremely high levels of radiation coming from inside a contaminated vessel. Walkers have taken readings of up to 11.1 millisieverts per hour. That's high enough to kill a person after 40 minutes of exposure. TEPCO engineers say they're not yet certain what sort of walk would be possible under those circumstances. So it's a slow process for the thousands of walkers at the Fukushima Daiji. They measure their progress with small steps. Mm. Not big one. Do keep us posted on this. Thanks very much, Yoichiro. Welcome.